In order to connect Authorize.net to software and various point of sale equipment integrations, you need to get the login ID and the transaction key from your account. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video coming up. Okay, so once you've activated your Authorize.net account, you just log in and come over to the account tab, then to the API credentials and keys link and click. And once you're on this screen here, you'll simply click on the new transaction key radio button and click submit. That will generate a verify your identity pin code challenge, which goes to the email account on file as shown here and just click on the request pin. That's gonna send the pin number over to the email address which is on file, which you're gonna grab and then just plug into this box to verify your identity. So this does have to be the account owner that does this. After you've entered the pin number, just click on the verify pin button and click continue and that's it. The next screen is the information that you're looking for. The API login ID and the current transaction key are right here and all you have to do is just click to copy to the clipboard or otherwise copy this information down in order Order to send it to your programmer or web developer or if you're doing it yourself you can bring it straight over to the integration uh, application and and start plugging these codes in to complete the integration keep in mind this is secret information these codes generally you don't want to put this into plain email text so I do recommend putting it into a text file or a word document or something like that where you know it's not just plain text in an email or a text message or messenger app so that you're keeping the keys that you just generated secure. So that's it, it's pretty simple and straightforward as you can see. And one final note is that you can add additional transaction keys on your single authorized.net account. So for example, if you have a CRM that you're using that you collect payments through and you're selling through your e-commerce website and each of those softwares require a payment gateway integration, you can set up separate keys so that if you ever needed to disconnect one but not the other, you could do so by just deleting one key inside of your authorized.net account. Again, if that scenario would apply to you, but just know you can create more than one transaction key in your auth.net account. If you have any other questions about the authorized.net payment gateway, whether it be using the virtual terminal, receiving billing statements, or integration questions like this video covered, check the links in the description for contact instructions and details on how to schedule a call with me and or my team. If you have simple questions, of course, leave a comment below and we do answer the comments and I get right back to you as, as quickly as possible again especially if it's a, a simple question and be sure to check out all the other videos on topics such as payment gateways merchant accounts e-commerce payments and and much much more they're all linked up in the description and if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell notification so you get notified when we release new videos just like this one I'm Brian Manning and I'll see you on the next one